MTOR, Wikipedia article audio. 4JT6, 1AUE, 1FAP, 1NSG, 2FAP, 2GAQ, 2NPU, 2RSE, 3FAP, 4DRH, 4DRI, 4DRJ, 4FAP, 4JSN, 4JSP, 4JSV, 4JSX, 4JT5, 5FLC. Discovery Function Complexes MTORC1 MTORC2 Inhibition by rapamycin Gene deletion experiments Clinical significance Aging Cancer Central nervous system disorders slash brain function. Autism. Alzheimer's disease. Protein synthesis and cell growth. Scleroderma. MTOR inhibitors as therapies. Interactions. NM004958. NM020009 NP004949 NP064393 The mammalian target of rapamycin, also known as the mechanistic target of rapamycin and FK506 binding protein 12 rapamycin associated protein 1, is a kinase that in humans is encoded by the MTOR gene. MTOR is a member of the phosphatidylinositol 3 kinase related kinase family of protein kinases. MTOR links with other proteins and serves as a core component of two distinct protein complexes, MTOR complex 1 and MTOR complex 2, which regulate different cellular processes. In particular, as a core component of both complexes, MTOR functions as a serine-slash-threonine protein kinase that regulates cell growth, cell proliferation, cell motility, cell survival, protein synthesis, autophagy, and transcription. As a core component of MTORC2, MTOR also functions as a tyrosine protein kinase that promotes the activation of insulin receptors and insulin-like growth factor 1 receptors. MTORC2 has also been implicated in the control and maintenance of the actin cytoskeleton. The discovery of TOR and MTOR stemmed from independent studies of the natural product rapamycin by Joseph Heitman, Rao Mova, and Michael N. Hall, and by Stuart L. Schreiber, David M. Sabatini, and Robert T. Abraham. In 1993, George Levy and Michael N. Hall independently cloned genes that mediate the toxicity of rapamycin in fungi, known as the TOR-DRR genes. However, the molecular target of the FKBP12 rapamycin complex in mammals was not known. In 1994, Stuart L. Schreiber David M. Sabatini and Robert T. Abraham independently discovered a protein that directly interacts with FKBP12 rapamycin, which became known as MTOR due to its homology to the yeast TOR-DRR genes. Rapamycin arrests fungal activity at the G1 phase of the cell cycle. In mammals, it suppresses the immune system by blocking the G1 to S phase transition in T lymphocytes. Thus, it is used as an immunosuppressant following organ transplantation. Interest in rapamycin was renewed following the discovery of the structurally related immunosuppressive natural product FK506 in 1987. In 1989 to 90, FK506 and rapamycin were determined to inhibit T-cell receptor and IL-2 receptor signaling pathways, respectively. 
The two natural products were used to discover the FK506 and rapamycin binding proteins, including FKBP12, and to provide evidence that FKBP12, FK506 and FKBP12 rapamycin might act through gain-of-function mechanisms that target distinct cellular functions. These investigations included key studies by Francis Dumont and Nolan Seigel at Merck contributing to show that FK506 and rapamycin behave as reciprocal antagonists. These studies implicated FKBP12 as a possible target of rapamycin, but suggested that the complex might interact with another element of the mechanistic cascade. In 1991, Calcinurin was identified as the target of FKBP12 FK506. That of FKBP12 rapamycin remained mysterious until genetic and molecular studies in yeast established FKBP12 as the target of rapamycin, and implicated TOR1 and TOR2 as the targets of FKBP12 rapamycin in 1991 and 1993 followed by studies in 1994 when several groups, working independently, discovered the MTOR kinase as its direct target in mammalian tissues. Sequence analysis of MTOR revealed it to be the direct ortholog of proteins encoded by the yeast target of rapamycin 1 and 2 genes which Joseph Heitman, Rao Mova, and Michael N. Hall had identified in August 1991 and May 1993. Independently, George Levy and colleagues later reported the same genes, which they called dominant rapamycin resistance 1 and 2, in studies published in October 1993. The protein now called MTOR was originally named FRAP by Stuart L. Schreiber and RAFT1 by David M. Sabatini, FRAP1 was used as its official gene symbol in humans. Because of these different names, MTOR, which had been first used by Robert T. Abraham, was increasingly adopted by the community of scientists working on the MTOR pathway to refer to the protein and in homage to the original discovery of the TOR protein in yeast that was named TOR, the target of rapamycin, by Joe Heitman, Rao Mova, and Mike Hall. TOR was originally discovered at the Biocentrum and Sandoz Pharmaceuticals in 1991 in Basel, Switzerland, and the name TOR pays further homage to this discovery, as TOR means doorway or gate in German, and the city of Basel was once ringed by a wall punctuated with gates into the city, including the iconic Spalinter. Similarly, with subsequent discoveries the zebrafish tor was named ZTOR, the Arabidopsis thaliana tor was named ATTOR, and the Drosophila tor was named DTOR. In 2009 the FRAP1 gene name was officially changed by the Hugo Gene Nomenclature Committee to MTOR, which stands for Mechanistic Target of Rapamycin. The discovery of TOR and the subsequent identification of MTOR opened the door to the molecular and physiological study of what is now called the MTOR pathway and had a catalytic effect on the growth of the field of chemical biology, where small molecules are used as probes of biology. MTOR integrates the input from upstream pathways, including insulin, growth factors, and amino acids. MTOR also senses cellular nutrient, oxygen, and energy levels. The MTOR pathway is a central regulator of mammalian metabolism and physiology, with important roles in the function of tissues including liver, muscle, white and brown adipose tissue, and the brain, and is dysregulated in human diseases, such as diabetes, obesity, depression, and certain cancers. Rapamycin inhibits MTOR by associating with its intracellular receptor FKBP12. The FKBP12, rapamycin complex binds directly to the FKBP12 rapamycin binding domain of MTOR, 
inhibiting its activity. MTOR is the catalytic subunit of two structurally distinct complexes, MTORC1 and MTORC2. Both complexes localize to different subcellular compartments, thus affecting their activation and function. MTOR complex 1 is composed of MTOR, regulatory associated protein of MTOR, mammalian lethal with SEC13 protein 8 and the non-core components PRAS40 and Deptor. This complex functions as a nutrient-slash-energy-slash-redox sensor and controls protein synthesis. The activity of MTORC1 is regulated by rapamycin, insulin, growth factors, phosphatidic acid, certain amino acids and their derivatives, mechanical stimuli, and oxidative stress. MTOR complex 2 is composed of MTOR. Rapamycin insensitive companion of MTOR, MLST8, and mammalian stress activated protein kinase interacting protein 1. MTORC2 has been shown to function as an important regulator of the actin cytoskeleton through its stimulation of F actin stress fibers, Paxilin, ROE, RAC1, CDC42 and protein kinase C-alpha MTORC2 also phosphorylates the serine-slash-threonine protein kinase anite-slash-PKB on serine residue SCR473, thus affecting metabolism and survival. Phosphorylation of anite serine residue SCR473 by MTORC2 stimulates anite phosphorylation on threonine residue THR308 by PDK1 and leads to full anite activation. In addition, MTORC2 exhibits tyrosine protein kinase activity and phosphorylates the insulin-like growth factor 1 receptor and insulin receptor on the tyrosine residues tier 1131-1136 and tier 1146-1151, respectively, leading to full activation of IGFIR and INSR. Rapamycin inhibits MTORC1 and this appears to provide most of the beneficial effects of the drug. Rapamycin has a more complex effect on MTORC2, inhibiting it only in certain cell types under prolonged exposure. Disruption of MTORC2 produces the diabetic-like symptoms of decreased glucose tolerance and insensitivity to insulin. The MTORC2 signaling pathway is less defined than the MTORC1 signaling pathway. The functions of the components of the MTORC complexes have been studied using knockdowns and knockouts and were found to produce the following phenotypes. Decreased TOR activity has been found to increase lifespan in S. cerevisiae, C. elegans, and D. melanogaster. The MTOR inhibitor rapamycin has been confirmed to increase lifespan in mice. It is hypothesized that some dietary regimes, like caloric restriction and methionine restriction, cause lifespan extension by decreasing MTOR activity. Some studies have suggested that MTOR signaling may increase during aging, at least in specific tissues like adipose tissue and rapamycin may act in part by blocking this increase. An alternative theory is MTOR signaling is an example of antagonistic pleiotropy, and while high MTOR signaling is good during early life, it is maintained at an inappropriately high level in old age. CR and methionine restriction may act in part by limiting levels of essential amino acids including leucine and methionine which are potent activators of MTOR. The administration of leucine into the rat brain has been shown to decrease food intake and body weight via activation of the MTOR pathway in the hypothalamus. According to the free radical theory of aging, reactive oxygen species cause damage of mitochondrial proteins and decrease ADP production. Subsequently, 
via ADP sensitive AMPK, the MTOR pathway is inhibited and ADP consuming protein synthesis is downregulated, since MTORC1 initiates a phosphorylation cascade activating the ribosome. Hence, the proportion of damaged proteins is enhanced. Moreover, disruption of MTORC1 directly inhibits mitochondrial respiration. These positive feedbacks on the aging process are counteracted by protective mechanisms, decreased MTOR activity upregulates glycolysis and removal of dysfunctional cellular components via autophagy. Overactivation of MTOR signaling significantly contributes to the initiation and development of tumors and MTOR activity was found to be deregulated in many types of cancer including breast, prostate, lung, melanoma, bladder, brain, and renal carcinomas. Reasons for constitutive activation are several. Among the most common are mutations in tumor suppressor PTEN gene. PTEN phosphatase negatively affects MTOR signaling through interfering with the effect of PI3K, an upstream effector of MTOR. Additionally, MTOR activity is deregulated in many cancers as a result of increased activity of PI3K or anite. Similarly, Overexpression of downstream MTOR effectors for EBP1, S6K, and EIF4A leads to poor cancer prognosis. Also, mutations in TSC proteins that inhibit the activity of MTOR may lead to a condition named tuberous sclerosis complex, which exhibits as benign lesions and increases the risk of renal cell carcinoma. Increasing MTOR activity was shown to drive cell cycle progression and increase cell proliferation mainly thanks to its effect on protein synthesis. Moreover, active MTOR supports tumor growth also indirectly by inhibiting autophagy. Constitutively activated MTOR functions in supplying carcinoma cells with oxygen and nutrients by increasing the translation of HIF1A and supporting angiogenesis. MTOR also aids in another metabolic adaptation of cancerous cells to support their increased growth rate, activation of glycolytic metabolism. AKT2, a substrate of MTOR specifically of MTORC2, upregulates expression of the glycolytic enzyme PKM2 thus contributing to the Warburg effect. MTOR is implicated in the failure of a pruning mechanism of the excitatory synapses in autism spectrum disorders. MTOR signaling intersects with Alzheimer's disease pathology in several aspects suggesting its potential role as a contributor to disease progression. In general, findings demonstrate MTOR signaling hyperactivity in AD brains. For example, post-mortem studies of human AD brain reveal dysregulation in PTEN, anite, S6K, and MTOR. MTOR signaling appears to be closely related to the presence of soluble amyloid beta and tau proteins, which aggregate and form two hallmarks of the disease, A-beta plagues and neurofibrillary tangles, respectively. In vitro studies have shown A-beta to be an activator of the PI3K-AKT pathway, which in turn activates MTOR. In addition, Applying A-beta to N2K cells increases the expression of P70S6K, a downstream target of MTOR known to have higher expression in neurons that eventually develop neurofibrillary tangles. Chinese hamster ovary cells transfected with the 7PA2 familial AD mutation also exhibit increased MTOR activity compared to controls and the hyperactivity is blocked using a gamma secretase inhibitor. These in vitro studies suggest that increasing A-beta concentrations increases MTOR signaling, however, significantly large, 
cytotoxic A beta concentrations are thought to decrease MTOR signaling. Consistent with data observed in vitro, MTOR activity and activated P70S6K have been shown to be significantly increased in the cortex and hippocampus of animal models of AD compared to controls. Pharmacologic or genetic removal of the A-beta in animal models of AD eliminates the disruption in normal MTOR activity, pointing to the direct involvement of A-beta in MTOR signaling. In addition, by injecting A-beta oligomers into the hippocampi of normal mice, MTOR hyperactivity is observed. Cognitive impairments characteristic of AD appear to be mediated by the phosphorylation of PRAS40, which detaches from and allows for the MTOR hyperactivity when it is phosphorylated, inhibiting PRAS40 phosphorylation prevents a beta induced MTOR hyperactivity. Given these findings, the MTOR signaling pathway appears to be one mechanism of A-beta-induced toxicity in AD. The hyperphosphorylation of tau proteins into neurofibrillary tangles is one hallmark of AD. P70S6K activation has been shown to promote tangle formation as well as MTOR hyperactivity through increased phosphorylation and reduced dephosphorylation. It has also been proposed that MTOR contributes to tau pathology by increasing the translation of tau and other proteins. Synaptic plasticity is a key contributor to learning and memory, two processes that are severely impaired in AD patients. Translational control, or the maintenance of protein homeostasis has been shown to be essential for neural plasticity and is regulated by MTOR. Both protein over and under production via MTOR activity seem to contribute to impaired learning and memory. Furthermore, given that deficits resulting from MTOR overactivity can be alleviated through treatment with rapamycin, it is possible that MTOR plays an important role in affecting cognitive functioning through synaptic plasticity. Further evidence for MTOR activity in neurodegeneration comes from recent findings demonstrating that EIF2-alpha P, an upstream target of the MTOR pathway, mediates cell death in prion diseases through sustained translational inhibition. Some evidence points to MTOR's role in reduced A-beta clearance as well. MTOR is a negative regulator of autophagy, therefore, hyperactivity in MTOR signaling should reduce A-beta clearance in the AD brain. Disruptions in autophagy may be a potential source of pathogenesis in protein misfolding diseases, including AD. Studies using mouse models of Huntington's disease demonstrate that treatment with rapamycin facilitates the clearance of Huntington aggregates. Perhaps the same treatment may be useful in clearing A-beta deposits as well. MTORC1 activation is required for myofibrillar muscle protein synthesis and skeletal muscle hypertrophy in humans in response to both physical exercise and ingestion of certain amino acids or amino acid derivatives. Persistent inactivation of MTORC1 signaling in skeletal muscle facilitates the loss of muscle mass and strength during muscle wasting in old age, cancer cachexia, and muscle atrophy from physical inactivity. MTORC2 activation appears to mediate neurite outgrowth in differentiated mouse NEURO2A cells. Intermittent MTOR activation in prefrontal neurons by beta-hydroxybetamethylbutyrate inhibits age-related cognitive decline associated with dendritic pruning in animals, which is a phenomenon also observed in humans. NIP7, knockdown reduced MTORC2 activity that is indicated by decreased phosphorylation of MTORC2 substrates, Richter overexpression leads to metastasis and knockdown inhibits growth factor induced PKC phosphorylation. 
constitutive deletion of Richter in mice leads to embryonic lethality, while tissue-specific deletion leads to a variety of phenotypes, a common phenotype of Richter deletion in liver, white adipose tissue, and pancreatic beta cells is systemic glucose intolerance and insulin resistance in one or more tissues. Decreased Richter expression in mice decreases male, but not female, lifespan, MTOR, inhibition of MTORC1 and MTORC2 by PP242 pyrimidin 3 YL1H indol 5 ol leads to autophagy or apoptosis. Inhibition of MTORC2 alone by PP242 prevents phosphorylation of SIR473 site on AKT and arrests the cells in G1 phase of the cell cycle. Genetic reduction of MTOR expression in mice significantly increases lifespan, PDK1, knockout is lethal, hypomorphic allele results in smaller organ volume and organism size but normal AKT activation, AKT, knockout mice experience spontaneous apoptosis, severe diabetes, small brains, and growth deficiency. Mice heterozygous for AKT1 have increased lifespan, TOR1, the S. cerevisiae ortholog of MTORC1, is a regulator of both carbon and nitrogen metabolism, TOR1KO strains regulate response to nitrogen as well as carbon availability, indicating that it is a key nutritional transducer in yeast. Scleroderma also known as systemic sclerosis, is a chronic systemic autoimmune disease characterized by hardening of the skin that affects internal organs in its more severe forms. MTOR plays a role in fibrotic diseases and autoimmunity, and blockade of the MTORC pathway is under investigation as a treatment for scleroderma. MTOR inhibitors, e.g. rapamycin, are already used to prevent transplant rejection. Rapamycin is also related to the therapy of glycogen storage disease. Some articles reported that rapamycin can inhibit MTORC1 so that the phosphorylation of GS can be increased in skeletal muscle. This discovery represents a potential novel therapeutic approach for glycogen storage diseases that involve glycogen accumulation in muscle. Various natural compounds, including epigallocatechin gallate, caffeine, curcumin, and resveratrol, have also been reported to inhibit MTOR when applied to isolated cells in culture, however, there is as yet no evidence that these substances inhibit MTOR when taken as dietary supplements. Some MTOR inhibitors are beginning to be used in the treatment of cancer. MTOR inhibitors may also be useful for treating several age-associated diseases including neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Ritiforolimus is another MTOR inhibitor, currently in clinical development. Mechanistic target of rapamycin has been shown to interact with 1AUE FKB pyrapamycin binding domain of the FKB pyrapamycin associated protein. 1 FAP, the structure of the immunophilin immunosuppressant FKB P12 rapamycin complex interacting with human FRAP. 1 NSG, the structure of the immunophilin immunosuppressant FKB P12 rapamycin complex interacting with human FRAP. 2 FAP, the structure of the immunophilin immunosuppressant FKB P12 ethoxyrapamycin complex interacting with HUMA. 2 GAQ, NMR solution structure of the FRB domain of MTOR. 3 FAP, atomic structures of the rapamycin analogs in complex with both human FKB P12 and FRB domain of FRAP. 4 FAP, Atomic structures of the rapamycin analogs in complex with both human FKB P12 and FRB domain of FRAP.